Ryan, Leafs Fan TV here. Uh, Leafs Auto lose. <laughs> <laughs> Go Leafs! Yeah. Well, a rough loss tonight. Um, really tough seeing as they could clinch. Do you think the fact that they know they can clinch, it's getting to them, the nerves are starting to come in now? Uh, they definitely played flat the whole game. There was no really, not much tempo to it at all. There was, they were bad with the puck. They couldn't really, the first pass was always awful. Whenever they got in the zone, there was no contained pressure. So it definitely looked a little tonight. soft. They were tight tonight, yeah, 100%. But no, they're going to get it. They'll get in, 100%. Didn't really show up and show them how to do it. They don't have a really strong leadership court, and they need that. That's what they need. When you say leadership, what do you what do you mean? I mean, I think Matthews has shown he can be a leader on the ice. I think Riley is good in the locker room. He's too young. They're both too young to be actual leaders. They don't have any playoff experience between them. They need somebody like Brian Boyle to step up. They're a young team. If they make the playoffs, excellent for them because it gives them those, even if they go out in four games, that experience in the playoffs for those kids is going to be amazing. What the problem is is getting to this close and not making it. That It's kind of that choke thing. And then you don't want to have that in their heads. Well, yeah, and, and that's the thing. Like, do you, you don't want that so many years before of collapsing, exactly. repeating yeah, itself. You don't want to, don't want to characterize this as the 18-wheeler going off the cliff like it has in the past. Well, I think we, <laughs> Tampa had a good game in itself. But, I mean, I think tonight was just kind of a bit of a – I think it was nerves. We have to remember that most of our team is – they're young, and they, they still need to mature in the game, and, and they – they, their nerves are going to get the best of them sometimes. Do you think that's going to get to them in the next two? I hope not. I mean, we're playing the Penguins on Saturday, and I think as much as these players have, are, you know, they've played Crosby and Malkin before and all that, like, they're still going to get a little bit starstruck and they're going to be a little bit intimidated, and I think that's a big factor, and I think the fact that they lost tonight is probably going to be on their, their shoulders. But, you know... Babcock said the other day, like, if you're going to go into a game, you have to believe that you're going to win. And if you don't believe you're going to win, then you're going to fail. And I think tonight the nerves got the best of them. Most of the guys are rookies, and they've never been this far. It's probably going to be pretty tough to get a win in the next two. But, yeah, um, I mean, they're playing well. It's just that a lot of things that were going right when they were winning are not going right now. I think they'll be okay, but they're a young team, and I could see that the nerves really got to them today. You think there's any odds of them blowing this because of these because of these nerves? So. I don't think so. I think they're going to get in. I think uh, we're going to get some help from other teams, but I think they're going to get a point or two before it's over. A little, little disappointed in that loss. Yeah. yeah, we had a lot going on. We had Ottawa playing Boston tonight. You know, what, I, I don't know the outcome of that game. I, I was, Ottawa won in a shootout. In a shootout, three-point game. <laughs> Get me off of here, man. I, I, honestly, I, my emotions are way too high for this bullshit. Like, I can't, I can't deal with this, man. This is, I don't honestly, think anyone honestly, can, man. To all you Leaf fans out there, to all you Leaf fans, you're all thinking the same thing, okay? They're going to they're gonna choke. They're going to choke. Honestly, they are going to fucking choke because they've done it the last 16 years, okay? They're out. They're out. All they need is one point. One point. And I don't think they're going to get it. I don't think they're going to get it. And I'm, look at me. Look at me. I'm a diehard. I'm a diehard. Go for enough. We'll see you next year. Oh, well, you know, the Leafs are still going to fucking make the playoffs. I, I, have no, I have no worries. I'm not, really, I'm not really stressed about it. You know what? I am very stressed, actually. Not at all. Just the, the Leafs have not hurt me too many times. I got to ask. Like, do, do, so you think there's a real possibility of Tampa or Islanders winning one and Leafs dropping two? Okay, well, we're, Sorry, we're, winning both. Gonna, Leafs are going to win both those games. I, I, I don't have any worries about it. Like, the Leafs are going to win. Why, why the worry? I mean, obviously the history of the team. Like, do you, you, do you think this is a different team or? No, 100% I think it's a different team. But just the fact that it's if the Leafs win the last two, which is Columbus-Pittsburgh, which is highly likely that they'll lose. And then who's uh, Tampa facing? Buffalo-Montreal? Montreal's already clinched the, the first seed. Like, I, I, they're going to be sitting players. It, it's scary. Okay, honestly, the Ottawa Senators, they've got some injuries right now. I'm not really worried they want to Like, no, no, shut up. Honestly, the Leafs, they're going to win one of those last two games. I know they don't have the momentum going into those games, but honestly, I, I'm really not worried at all. You think this is because of the nerves, boys? Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's a classic kind of Leafs move over the last few years. I don't want to see them choke late and, and have those nerves knowing they're so close to the playoffs, but it definitely is something that could happen. I mean, Tampa is a team that's hot right now, and New York Islanders won 3 nothing today, so 
Yeah, I mean, the nerves definitely could be getting to them. It's a young team, and you never know, right? So. Yeah, I, know. I definitely think it's nerves. Um, Tampa came to play today. Um, you know, the least hopefully they can pick it up back in the next two games. I don't know. How do they conquer their fears? Uh, I think I think honestly that comes down to Babcock. I think he's the he's the guy to really push this team, and, and I mean he's an, obviously an elite leader. So hopefully he can push some of those good players like Marner, Matthews, Nylander, and see what they can do in the next few games. I mean they they don't have an easy schedule left with uh, Columbus and Pittsburgh, so it's going to be interesting. Keep calm and pass it to Matthews. All I can say. <laughs> all I know. That's yeah. why Babcock's getting eight eight years for fifty million dollars because that's his job, right? Yeah. He didn't he didn't put Detroit in the playoff year after year after year after year by being an inconsistent coach, right? They're not going to win every game. Yeah, it's a couple games in a row that they didn't look very good, but it they, happens, right? They've only lost three in regulation once all year, and exactly. and and to to really blow the spot, they would have to lose four. Right. I'm nervous. I don't know if I'm as nervous. I'm probably more nervous than the team, but. Uh, you know, until until they clinch, I'm going to be. Uh, the other teams have to win too. They're ahead of the other teams. The other teams don't win. I think that's another thing too. You got to see Tampa and the Islanders win yeah, out. Mike Babcock, I keep them looking at the big picture. It's not just about them. It's about the other teams playing too, and the other teams have to win. So Toronto could back in. It's not the ideal way to go in, but it's in. In is in. And knocking off Washington in the first round is going to mean a lot to the boys too. So <laughs> we're all we're all hyped up for that as well. Well, fair enough. Uh, anything else you want to say? Anything you want to comment on? That's it. Go Leafs go, baby. We're going to do it. Go Leafs go.